Okay, so part three, we left off right here, and you can see that the texture is looking pretty good. Uh, we'll escape out of that, go back to front view, which is one on the number pad. And we need to add some features, uh, some facial features to Gus, our gingerbread man. I'll zoom in a little bit. Uh, hit the A key, it looks like I've got the camera selected. Hit the A key, Shift A, brings up the menu. And we'll add a UV sphere, which is going to be one of his eyes. I'm going to scale that down a bit. Go to side view, see if I'm even close. We'll grab that and move that out front. Uh, back to front view, one. Position the eye roughly where it's going to go. I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer now. Scale that down a little bit more. Grab it, put his eye right about there. Shift D, we'll duplicate the eye. So we've got two of them now. Actually, I'm going to undo that. Before we do that, let's go to the materials button and assign a material for the eye. And we're going to make this uh, as though it were a little uh, drop of chocolate. And so I'll go down a little bit darker and we'll accept, uh, we'll find some dark chocolate. That looks pretty good there. Uh, you can always fine tune it. Okay, the eye is still too far in front and that's easy to fix. Just grab the green arrow and drag it into position. One more thing I'm going to do before we copy is click the smooth button. We'll do a quick render just to see how this is looking. It should be okay. It's small enough that it's not going to make that much of an impact if we do forget any minor detail. Shift D now to duplicate and we should have two chocolate eyes. Okay, the next thing we can do is add, if you want, you can add a nose. Shift D again. I'll make that a little bit smaller. And Shift D again for the mouth. And I'm going to make this smaller still. And I think I'll put five of them in here. And let's have a look to see how that looks now. If you notice the specularity is a little bit higher than on the gingerbread man, which is good. It looks like uh, it's made of a different material, which is what we want. Let's make some buttons. Shift D one more time. This time though, I'm going to scale it up. Go to top view and I'm going to isolate it by hitting the backslash above the eight. Then I'm going to scale it in one plane. We want to make something that looks like a smarty. I'll try the Y plane. Yeah, that looks right. And that's about the right dimension for a smarty. We'll hit the backslash again so that it's uh, we take it out of uh, that isolation mode. We'll move this so it's actually sitting right in front. So it's like a smarty that's just and just sort of uh, pressed very lightly into the gingerbread. Back to the front view. It's a little bit large. We'll scale it down a bit. Can't tell if it's exactly centered, but that's going to be easy to move. And now instead of chocolate. Let's add a, a bright color to this with, with very high specularity, so it looks like the uh, like it like an actual smarty. Actually, it looks pretty good right there, but we'll bump up the uh, specularity just a bit. So first thing I'm going to do is add a new material because uh, we don't want it to be chocolate. So we'll click plus. And for this material, what I'm going to do is change the color. We're going to go for a bright red color. One more time. That's not quite the red I'm looking for. I can't seem to find red. Oh, well, that'll do. Okay, let's render and see how it looks. Oh, that's not bad at all. So we'll Shift D to copy it. Do that one more time. Actually, better yet is to drag it so it stays exactly in the same plane. We'll select the second one and we'll make a new color here. Plus, we'll change the color. We'll make this green. And finally, we'll select the last one. We'll add a new color, plus sign, and we'll make it blue. And let's see how it looks. And I think we've got our gingerbread man just about done and almost ready to animate except for one problem. If I grab the main part, G key, he leaves his face and buttons behind. 
So what we need to do is select all of those items. I'll use the B key to just select everything. And then we'll go to front view, hold down the shift button, and right click on the mesh. And what that does, we want to make sure we select it last. And now we'll parent all of these uh, uh, facial features and buttons to that main mesh by hitting Control P. Set parent to object. And now watch what happens if we only select a mesh and grab it, all the objects that were parented to that mesh move with it. If we scale it, they scale proportionally. If we rotate, they rotate with it. Next step.